by fans of high quality entertainment. Uh, just before I get into the main subject of this video, I wanted to let everyone know that I'm going to try a different time on Sunday because it seems more people would like a later time. So it's going to be this Sunday, a live chat at 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So I hope you can join me and might have a friend or two along with me to talk about music and whatever else we get into. So, and isn't that a great picture of me? <laughs> Molly took that about, uh, I think, four years ago. <laughs> Forty-year-old virgin. Now, uh, as some of you probably know, Tenacious D is in the news lately. Jack Black and uh, Kyle, and they, they are they were on a Australian tour. Yeah, I always forget his last name, Kyle Gass, G-A-S-S. -S. And so as you can see, Spicy Meatball Tour. And I've always liked Tenacious D and, uh, you know, especially Jack Black. I, and I think they're both very, very talented and funny. And it's just kind of, uh, you know, kind of sad what's happened. And uh, I would just love your thoughts on it, but let me go through this a bit in case you don't know. This was, uh, they're in Australia, they were in Australia touring, of course, and it was Kyle's birthday. And this is what happened. That was a mistake. Don't miss Trump next time. Yeah, so in case you don't know what he said, it's it's about Trump. And, uh, you know, about the assassination attempt. And uh, maybe I'll put it in the tax. I, I don't want to say it, though. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so it says here, Jack Black's comedy, Jack Black's comedy rock band Tenacious D has canceled its remaining tour dates after band member Kyle Gass sparked a backlash with an apparent joke about Saturday's assassination attempt on former U.S. President Donald Trump. Footage posted on social media from the band's concert in Sydney on Sunday showed Black presenting Gas with a birthday cake on stage and telling him to make a wish. And Gas responded, as you can read there, uh, the exchange prompted a call from one Australian lawmaker for the band to be deported from the country. In a statement to CNN on Tuesday, Black said he was blindsided by what was said at the show. Yeah, he posted this on his Instagram. I would never condone hate speech or encourage political violence in any form, he added. After much reflection, I no longer feel it is appropriate 
to continue the tenacious detour, and all future creative plans are on hold. I am grateful to the fans for their support and understanding. Gas apologized for the comment in a post on Instagram on Tuesday. And, and then it says here, Gas has since been dropped by his Hollywood talent representative. His agent told CNN that he has parted ways with Gas, but he did not provide additional comment. Band members Black and Gas had been due to play in the city of Newcastle, New South Wales on Tuesday, but promoter Frontier Touring announced that the show had been postponed in an Instagram post. And they were scheduled to perform in Brisbane on Thursday before heading to Melbourne and Adelaide, and then on to New Zealand and the U.S. And this is Kyle's uh, statement on Instagram. The line I improvised on stage Sunday night in Sydney was highly inappropriate, dangerous, and a terrible mistake. I don't condone violence of any kind in any form against anyone. What happened was a tragedy, and I'm incredibly sorry for my severe lack of judgment. I profoundly apologize to those I've, left, I've let down and truly regret any pain I've caused. So the way Jack Black worded that, it almost sounds like, you know, he, he could be done with Tenacious D. And, you know, I know some fans are saying that during this concert, you can see, uh, you know, Jack Black ask him to make a wish. He did, I don't think he, he knew what he was, Kyle was going to say, obviously. And maybe Kyle didn't either. It's, a, you know, a spur of the moment thing. And so you, I think you kind of see Jack maybe smile or laugh or whatever about it and continued on with the show, I guess. But you never know, you know, you're, you're, you're trying, you're in front of this live audience and what else, I don't know, what else could he do, right? I guess he could have condoned it right there on the stage, but it would kind of, you know, they're there to entertain the people that paid the the money make them laugh and all that and uh it's definitely wrong what kyle said no matter what side of the fence your political leanings are uh but at the same time like i think we've all <laughs> done or said things you know the spur of the moment to somebody or even in a comedy video I've done, like I regret may, maybe a comedy video I've done years ago, like really stupid ones, it, just trying to make people laugh. And you realize after, you know what, that what wasn't really funny. <laughs> um, and you know, like I said, it's a spur of the moment thing and that, he said it, right? He, uh, he knew what he was saying. I'm not, you know, I'm definitely not on his side. <laughs> it was really wrong for him to say that. And, you know, and, you know with the uh, cancel culture and all that, I'm just kind of wondering, too, if, like, his career is done, right? And even like, but, but like I said, even Jack Black is getting some negative responses from, from fans uh, saying that he, he could have condoned it right there on the stage. And, uh, and also may, maybe after realizing the flack that that statement got, Jack was saying, oh, I better make this statement and say, I'm against that. And, but you know, at the time he seemed to kind of laugh at the wish. And I, I, I was also thinking, you know, they travel all that way to Australia. I'm not, I, I know they had other concerts to do and 
I think this was maybe one of the first ones, if not the first one. Maybe somebody can let me know. And just imagine all that time flying to Australia and then canceling the tour and having to fly back, maybe on the same plane, you know, Kyle and Jack. And probably wasn't the uh, greatest flight back home. You know, it's just... It's just sad what happened, and like I said, but everybody makes mistakes, and I just wonder what the future is going to be. If there is going to be a future for for Kyle and Jack and or Nasha D, you know, I think you know Jack Black especially has a pretty good name in Hollywood or did. <laughs> uh, and I, th I think, I don't know. It's just too bad it happened. And I would love your thoughts on it. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching. Please remember to leave a comment below and subscribe and like the video. I'd appreciate it. Bye.